Beja, December 1st deadline is looming to take advantage of a government tax credit for first time home buyers. Those purchasing a home for the first time or who haven't owned a home in three years can get a tax credit of 10% of their new home's purchase price up to $8,000. Taking a look at our economy, your future, Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz tells us why the deal might run out sooner than the deadline offer. DJ and Jenna Cast are anxious to buy their first house. Living underneath people is just. I'm, I'm done with it. They have a pending offer on a house, but they are still looking at other properties to ensure they can take advantage of the tax credit for first-time home buyers. We're really trying to push to be closed by November 20th, I think is the date that we have written down, so that way we're under the deadline. But that's the thing that's really driving us right now. The casts aren't the only ones expected to try and beat the deadline. Racing to get the tax credit, first-time home buyers helped push September home sales up 9.4% nationally the largest jump in more than 26 years. I think that this next week I anticipate uh, a good rush of people with the reality of, hey, we're about a month out here and uh, we need to get things going. Realtor Jill Simon says people trying to take advantage of the tax break might need to move faster than they think. They need to get their offers in by this week. The pre-approval process for a loan can take between one and three weeks. Add on the title work and the offer process, and it adds up to about a seven-week process, which means you could be too late to beat the tax credit deadline, considering it's less than six weeks away. A lender can get the underwriting process done quicker, depending on how clean the title is, depending on how quick the home inspection goes, and then also how good the buyer's credit score is. So you could get something done quicker, but otherwise it's about a seven week process. While there are talks in Congress to potentially extend the home buyer's incentive, Simon says people shouldn't bank on it. They just need to make sure they give themselves ample time to, to get that, um, because if you go over the deadline, it, it, we don't know if there's any extension and it might just be too late. Basements like this make me feel a lot taller. As for the cast, they feel they've done all they can and hope to own their first home by the December 1st deadline. In Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.